Meanwhile, back home on the basketball court, St. John's hosting St. Mary's from Detroit. They've got five-star recruit Trey McKenney committed to Michigan. This one was close throughout. Titans battling the entire night. Coy Hammock swings it to Jaden Jones, fires from deep and knocks it down. Later on, Hammock going to take the inbounds pass, fakes the handoff, slips past the defender and rises for the two-handed slam. Fast forward to the very end. Eaglets down one with less than five seconds to go. Sherrod Barnes hits the long two to put them up with just three seconds left. Titans going to have one last chance here. They're going to inbound here. Full court pass to Ethan James. Turns, tries to fire for the win. Bucket falls short. Second effort off two. And St. Mary's escapes with a 54-53 win on the road. Here's Titans head coach Mike Schoen and crew after the game. Well, when you're a defending state champion, you have a big target on your back. That's what St. Mary's had on theirs coming into St. John's tonight. The two teams going back and forth for 32 minutes, but a big shot at the end of the ball game made sure that the Eclix came away victorious over the Titans. We're never, you know, we're not gonna, we're not in a program that's for, for uh, uh, moral victories. You know, we want to win that game. We had opportunities to win it, just didn't do enough to win the game at the end. I thought our guys competed their tails off. Obviously, they're really talented, well coached. But, uh, you know, you want to win that game regardless of uh, who it is. So, proud, but uh, hungry for more. That's a rough game. Uh, we had a ton of opportunities to win it and just to get it on. We'll see them again in the tournament. We're not too worried. I think we can play with one of the best teams in the country. I think they were ranked 15 coming into the year. Um, it just proves how much, how hard we push each other and how hard we work. So St. John's is going to have to put this loss behind them really fast because they have another one tomorrow night at 5 o'clock when they hit the road to take on Bowsher. From St. John's, Steve Iwanek, WTOL 11.